Spicy builds to surprise him? No need, guys. Hero is one of the most predictable players ever. You gotta wait for him to just be too greedy. Hero's like, yo, I'm gonna make Blink Stalkers. Look at me, I'm so smart. To be fair, he might do his charge style. He, he actually has so much variety. But uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my ZVP right now. So I just want to play the game. I mean, you know, I'm not going to do an all in. I haven't played this map before. So I'm just looking around the map, figuring out where it is. And obviously I'll try to be very decisively striking him with something, but uh, we're not going to try and force the issue. We just kind of go for it. At our own pace. No probe coming in. All right. Just going to let me take my hatch. That's nice of him. It's a very quick oracle, guys.
Oh, Stalkers and Oracles are just bullshit, man. Oh, it's a really good fight for me. I should have just stayed defensive. Fuck. The defensive fight was so good, but the moment you attack off Creep, the shitty unit suddenly looks so good, doesn't it? Because I killed so many of his guys, I thought I could get away with it. Oh, I didn't think you'd be able to cut it off so easily. Damn. Well done. Mineral field depleted. A creep tumor is under attack. Ravages and lings, ravages and lings. Well done. Wasn't watching there. Just trying to fix up my uh, hatchery control group. Adrenal plus two melee. Oh, they were there. They were just on hold position or something. That's what was happening. <laughs> he's got 2-1. Fuck me. Ah, I forgot he's playing the double forge, isn't he? Oh. It's 
GG, well played. Best Protoss in the world is pretty good at StarCraft, guys. Who knew? He's now gonna bring out some dirty cheese. Because that's Hero's namesake. That's fucking everything he does. And I'm gonna go absolutely fuck this game, guys. So I'm gonna try and scout what he's up to and catch him off guard. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'd love to Ling Flood. Not a good map for Ling Flood, though. I think it's a bit too easy to wall off and too big to get across the map. But uh, we'll see what we can achieve here. Okay, see, it's a pretty tight ramp. It does kind of open up a little bit on the inside. I'm expecting core first double adapt, but... Thanks for the Bezos box! Looks like he's taking it easy. He says, nah, this map's too big for that. Let's play greedy. No worries. Don't think this map has any amazing cannon spots. Unlike the last one, which is a bit more worried about. sloppy for me. I kind of froze up there. Just being like, oh, I know there's a chance he blocks this, but let's just try and spam it down anyway. Level of micro is actually insane. So I did build that overlord earlier than I had realized, which is fine. Target, straight into Oracle. No surprises. Yeah, his, even his Oracle pressure felt like just something different in that last game, guys. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> this is just like all these tricky little details to it. I was like, damn, man. He knows his stuff. Just all these tricky little details that make Hero scariest best protoss in the world all right that's that's a bit late so we are going to need to make sure we position these bad boys a little bit better Three oracles, okay.
the best I've played in this matchup in fucking weeks, guys. So sick. He's a fucking dickhead, though. Switching styles, pull off gas. Yeah, the stasis traps are probably my least, most frustrating part of the whole thing, I think. So obnoxious, dude. Yeah, you can't be playing mind games with him because his build's just too solid and straightforward. Spire doesn't make... Yeah, because there's just no way I can get out from under the gun of his economic growth. That's the big problem there. Come on. I think the stasis traps have to be the most obnoxious part of the whole thing. Every other bit of it I'm fine with, but recently people have all started being um, copying how well he does that on the ladder, and I just cannot handle it. But uh, this is just too inefficient of a build. I think if I stuck to the build from game one, I could show you guys how... I, I do think if like a real Prozerg executed my style of ZVP with a uh, four gas ro mass ravagerling, I think you can get enough units to do run buys and stuff. I really don't think they can, um, I don't think they can handle it with this build. I think this build, you're investing a little bit too much in this low tech play and it like, you have to pin the Zerg back. But I think if the Zerg has an abundance of Zerglings, they should be able to counter attack and surround and stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, my Spire forced Phoenix out. So it, it did a job, the Spire, but it was more that I actually wanted to build muters off that. And then I couldn't cause I was pinned back. Obviously, he's, he's a little bit better than I am, guys, so. <laughs> I think game one was so promising, though. It's a shame I went for that counterattack. I should have just gone straight to ultras, because game one, I was in a much better position. GG's.